got a customer thinks his freezer floor air circulator is gone out so we're gonna check that make sure it's working air circulator just moving ambient outside air underneath the freezer floor to keep the floor underneath the floor warm so it doesn't form ice lift the concrete floor and cause it to stress crack and break this one's done with air it can also be done with radiant heat uh, glycol or heat tape Out here and see what's going on. Maybe just a belt. Let me see if I can find the right tool for the job here. Socket set would be better, but I don't have socket sets with me today. Here in Chattanooga, our ambient air during the winters sometimes we get down in the teens today it's 30 but the holding temp inside the box is zero so circulating ambient air underneath the freezer floor is still 30 degrees warmer than what's inside and looks like the belt's off <sighs> Seven. That's pretty short. A twenty-seven. All right. I guess we need to go get a belt. I made it back with the belts. Got one for a spare. Too bad to roll on. There's no adjustment on that at all, though. Sometimes you just get what you got. See what happens.
cracks in the floor that he's talking about. I'm not really seeing any. Too sure if that's right. I don't think it's minus five in here. I don't feel that cold. I don't see any cracks in the floor there. build up under the floor that's causing the concrete to crack or buckle. Things looking pretty good. If the concrete floor builds ice underneath it and it lifts up and it breaks, you'll have to shut this freezer down. Oh, I see it right here. That's what he's talking about. Yes, sir. It is humped up right there. So that's why that's what happens. He's got a he's got an ice building underneath that one right there. It's got the floor up. The ice has pushed the concrete up that it stressed the concrete and the concrete has cracked. I don't know if uh getting that fan back up and running if that's going to help melt that ice out it should and uh, hopefully that floor will drop back down if not he's going to have some major repairs to do hopefully getting that air moving back underneath there warm that up and start melting that ice out Especially if we start getting above 32, that definitely is going to help. Alright, I just got off the phone with the customer. And apparently there's a spot that I missed that's just down from this hump he's concerned about. So we're fixing to go down here and take a look at it. Right here's the hump in the floor with the crack. Cracking. It's up to pretty high there. Oh, I see what he's talking about here. Yeah, boy. That floor is up. Wow. All right. Woo, man real bad right here in the center and he said when he hit it with the forklift he said it's like he ran into a pole and I can see why that's up that's that floor is up at least a, at least an inch and a half inch to an inch and a half maybe more See what it looks like on the other side over here say that it looks like this floor's been that way for a while because somebody's got some uh, 
got some type of a epoxy or hot patch or something there. Guys, been putting that hot patch down on it, or is that been there? Yeah, it don't look too bad here. Right there in the center. Right there in the center seems to be the worst. over here at the far pile that's one I just walked down earlier in the video I didn't really notice too much on that floor there it looks like it's just the two aisles in the center of this box it's a uh, I mean it's up a little bit but nowhere near like it was over there in the two center Miles. Uh, all right, looks like I'm gonna make a phone call and find out who's been throwing the hot patch down, if it's been like that all along, or if that's something that they've put down. There's some more right there. I don't know what's going on here. Let me figure out what's going on with this floor. Up. It's up pretty high. 